What's up, squad? And in this video, we're talking about what are we talking about? Uh, the title is something like the number one or best piece of advice uh, for guaranteed success in online business. Yeah, and uh, this is something that we learned recently. Yeah, and it's real as fuck. So keep watching this video. Uh, subscribe if you are not yet subscribed because if you're not, what wow. are you doing? What, what are you, are you doing? doing? Okay, uh, and then like the first. And then like the video too is what I was going to say, yeah? Yeah. Uh, we are actually going to take a shot. A new series we're starting, Shot Conversations. <laughs> shot Dr Conversations. Drunk conversations. No. Shout out to Gilles Flebus for asking us to take shots before video. Yeah. Oh, that's so unprofessional. I don't give a shit. We're not here to be professional. Do whatever the fuck I want. I'll get rid of some filters in my mind. Yeah, just some, talking about some this. higher level thinking yeah. will come out. All right. Cheers, bro. I thought I remembered like Bacardi white rum being like smooth. Apparently not. That's like harsh. Yeah. Woo. Woo. Uh, yeah. So this video, <sighs> we're just bumps. this video, we're just taking like, we're just running with it. We're just gonna go. We yeah. have nothing planned. Only nothing. The, only the general topic. Yeah. So let's what reveal is, what it is. Right. So the number one best piece of advice we can give you to guarantee success in online business. And like Christian said earlier, this is something that we've learned over the last few months and particularly like two weeks ago-ish mm -hmm. at the Cancun Mastermind. So, that is, what is it? It is to find a mentor. Mm -hmm. Find a mentor who has the results that you want, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah. And um, I feel like people don't really know exactly what, mentor, what, what it really mm -hmm. means. Because it's super, it, it is, it's vague. Yeah, let's start there. It, it let's is start confusing. there. What is a mentor? Yeah. A mentoring and coaching to wildly Let's different start there. That's a, good, that's a good start. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A mentor and a coach are two wildly different things. Mm -hmm. So a coach is like someone, you, you purchase coaching from someone. Like yeah. You don't have to have any kind of relationship with them. You just give them the uh, money that they're asking for and then they coach you on a specific, in this case, we're talking online business, yeah. a specific how to build an online business, how to do something in online business. Uh, it's, it's like a cold sale, right? Like you, you don't have to know each other at all. You just give them the money and they teach you. Mm -hmm. A mentor is not that. A mentor is more like a, a life coach almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, um, it, it's, not, it's not coaching on a, well, it can be, but it's not coaching on a particular specific business level and like business. It's like uh, your whole business. Yeah. Your whole life even. But it it's, is it's someone who will look at your business from a bird's eye view and show you things and tell you things that you huh. can't see yourself. And it's someone with the long with the long term perspective in mind as well. It's someone who's a lot further in the game than you are. Oh, it's are. someone who has the results that you want. Basically, yeah. No, has the no, results no, that no you that, want. that's they have to. Have okay, that. okay. They, no, that's a requirement because like okay. that's the whole point of it mm -hmm. is learning from someone who has what you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One other thing. So people wonder how I always hear mentor, mentor. How the fuck? Where the fuck do you find a mentor? Wait, how many times we've been? Because we've been talking a lot about mentors recently. Yeah. Because I, feel, I kind of feel like a douche talking about. Ooh, my mentor, my mentor. I know, I know. It does sound stupid. <laughs> I don't give a fuck though. It does sound stupid. Yeah. But by the way, I feel that shot. Yeah. Good. I feel. <laughs> I feel that shot. <laughs> I think in the last week we've been asked literally at least five separate times by five different people. It did where, like the like thirty minutes ago from Zach. Yeah. I mean, you're probably watching this. Oh, really, Zach asked? Yeah, yeah. I didn't even see that. Um, where do you find a mentor? Oh, yes. Where did you find your mentor? How do you find a mentor? Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a tough question to answer because it's not like finding a coach where you just go to their website and then purchase coaching. A mentor, ah, man, this is like, this is a, sh a shitty answer because you can't really apply it. Well, they, they really, they come into your life. You can't just start an online business and then have a mentor right from the beginning. It, here's what I want to say on that. Like everything that we teach or ever talk about oh, yeah. comes from personal experience. Yeah. We'll never look at another video, take that information and then talk about it on our channel. Mm -hmm. So we can only speak from our own experience and the way that they've come about in our life is naturally just, just random, random occurrences. We were not looking for them. They just no. came. Yeah. So um, when you put a certain type of energy out into the world, that shit comes back to you. Mm -hmm. Like if, if you're sitting, in your room doing just, nothing, nothing's gonna come you, to you. You're never gonna find that person. But if you're out there, like putting out positive energy, helping people, changing people's lives, someone is gonna come around you, and change your life. You will have people come to you wanting, wanting to help you, mm -hmm. right? We've had that. Just because we're, what we're, we're doing. enjoyable, fun mm -hmm. people, 
uh, like they literally want to help us for that, which is which is really amazing. And um, when we first decided that we wanted to make our our course Audiobook Income Academy, link in the description. Um, yeah, we had no idea what to do. Like, where the fuck do you even start? I like knew like lessons to film and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But how do you how, how do, do you do sell anything? the course? How do you do, do where anything? do you put it? Like, yeah. I had no idea about any of that sort None. of stuff. Um, so we could have just done it ourselves and winged it. Oh, it, it would have been a disaster. Out, exactly. been a disaster. Watched some YouTube videos, read some blog posts about how to make an online course. But instead, we got a mentor to help us put together a course. He had the results that we wanted. Exactly. Had, See, that's that's the big fucking key in yeah, all this. He so he's been through it. He's been through everything. He knows uh, what was gonna what was gonna go wrong. What you need to do. The mistakes that he made. I mean, I know he also had a mentor to help him. Uh -huh. So, our mentor's mentor. Yeah, mentor's mentor. He's now our mentor. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. That's what your mentor's there for. To so you don't make the mistakes that you would have made, and it basically just streamlines the whole process. Mm -hmm. I mean, in online business or in any business, you're bound to make a motherfuck load of mistakes, mm -hmm. right? Always, always, it's irregardless of anything. Having someone who's done it before and they know what to do, showing you, telling you what to do. And in, in our case, that was with the course, right? There's so many fuck ups that we would have made that we didn't make for eight, that reason. Eight, okay. Let's just be real. All right, so we paid him two thousand dollars to mentor us for the, with the course. Mm -hmm. We would have made a fraction of what we did if we hadn't had him. Yeah, it was like 100%. one of the best ROI investments we've ever made. Like so, launch day we did over forty thousand dollars in earnings, and a lot of it had to do with the shit that he said. Mm -hmm. I mean, he he had to set up like a whole email promotion. Uh, how to hype up everything uh, the price point that was a big one. Yeah. We were gonna price it. Okay, so uh, the price of our course is at is 997 we were gonna price it at 297 but we probably had to convince we were probably gonna go 497 We were gonna go 497. We were gonna have to go, better go 297. Okay. Oh, that was our initial thought. Yeah, 297. yeah we, we, but we got out of that pretty quick. Yeah, we, that's true. So 497 is what we were gonna do and then he's like guys guys like I see where this is going it's just not the right move. I don't know he had, he, no, he had he, that bird's eye perspective on well, it. Well, he's basically like, you guys need to value like the information in here higher and you need to value yourselves higher. Yeah. Um, and also mm -hmm. think about like this, if someone taking your course five months from now, how much will, how much like can they be earning? Mm -hmm. Right. So for five, let's say it was a $500 course. Mm -hmm. They could be making three to 5,000 bucks a month. Yeah. Worth way more than the price tag. Even exactly. the $1,000 price tag, it's worth way more. The actual value of it is way more than that. The long-term ROI is tens of thousands mm -hmm. of dollars. But there's also a balance between it. Mm -hmm. A balance between what it's actually worth, which is multiple thousand dollars, and what the customer thinks it's worth. Mm -hmm. So, and then the, the middle point for us was not the 997 price point. Yeah. And I'm, I'm super happy with the price point. Yeah. Like, and that's what it's saying. At. I wanna say that like, our business or perspective on our business and kind of our direction changed at the Cancun Mastermind event, Ooh, right? Yeah. When we got talking to other people, yeah. In, in particularly, should we name his name? Uh, wait, can I say? Can I say another thing that I will want to make a video about? Yeah, is surrounding yourself with higher level people. Yeah, and just how big that is. Yeah, let's so, write that one down. Yeah, uh, just the power that has, because there there's so many things, not secrets, tips, whatever, to growing your online business. Ones that they're not like face value things. Yeah. For example, creating this online business. It's all stuff in the background. The way things the way impact the, your life. The, the way you act. Yeah. For the, example, the way you, other people. Yeah, the way you act, the way you carry yourself, the way you respond to people. Yeah, the way you behave online. Mm -hmm. uh, and that goes into like the whole trust building, relationship building. Mm -hmm. Fucking I always learn every day just how important that shit is. Yeah. Relationship building. Yeah. But yeah, one of those things that like behind the scenes things that people don't see mentors uh, surrounding yourself with people that have the results that you want mm -hmm. like I want to be in a position where I'm the bitch of the group yeah and that happened for like the first time in our life yeah 
That, now we weren't surrounded like... by everyone who made us feel like a bitch, yeah. but a few people. Yeah, uh, and that was at the Cancun Mastermind event, uh -huh. uh, and it was a, it was a really good feeling. Mm. It was a really good feeling. At first, it's kind of like right. I think you get over that, right? Yeah, it humbles you. It definitely. <coughs> <laughs> You got that all over me. Oh, really? Should we do another shot? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Um, so let's loosen up a little bit. Yeah. I mean, this first shot hit me like a ton of bricks. Good. You too? Uh, not like a ton of bricks, but I feel it. <laughs> oh, and another thing. Has anyone ever noticed this? That with one or two drinks of alcohol, you become like super productive. Uh, I mean, yeah, we. I've about noticed this all that. Time. You've noticed that. Once you get past two, have you ever noticed that? What, what, if you haven't, if you haven't noticed it, next time you sit down to write like an audiobook or do some keyword research, take a shot of rum first, and then tell us how your work your work session goes. Yeah. Once you get past two, it starts going the other direction. Oh yeah, direction. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, don't don't get so wasted. Stop there. Don't get wasted. No, no. One or two max. Two yeah. max. Yeah. I feel like we were on some good stuff before. Yeah. Um, oh, surrounding yourself with people. Yeah. 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 So that was literally the first time in our lives we'd, we'd ever been around people that were like higher level than us. And it was, no, that's just truthfully speaking. And it was fucking no. life changing. Yeah. You know, seriously, yeah. like it just brings up for the first time. I feel like every second, like I'm improving in some yeah. way. I'm learning. It something. felt amazing. It yeah. felt so good mm -hmm. because everywhere else that we lived, New Jersey, Denmark, Hawaii, Thailand, we're all surrounded by people that. It, it, one have nothing to do with what we do. It's the first time I've yeah finished. First one time. have nothing to do with what we do. They're not even in online business entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. And to me, if you're not in that, you're automatically a notch below. Mm -hmm. And because your mind isn't open to that yet. Yeah, if, I, I see what you mean. If you're a corporate person, to me, this has nothing to do with money. It's like no, no, the no. freedom yeah. uh, that it gives you. That's really why I. Like and what and I see what you were doing there. You had me almost like stop what I was saying because you could totally be misconstrued the wrong way. Yeah. That I'm better than these other people. That's not what I'm saying. Uh, how do I articulate this in a way that doesn't offend everyone? Everyone? Everyone. But it's because we've always been surrounded by people. We've, we've been surrounded by a lot of people that also do online business. But it's people that have not, that aren't on our level. I mean, it's not because we've, uh, even without like our YouTube channel or following, they still were not on our level in terms of mindset, in terms of aspirations, ambitions, results, work ethic, dedication, if I didn't say that one already. I mean, this, th this time in Cancun was the first okay, I'm gonna time- I'm going to take this one now. Yeah, it was the first time I've actually been surrounded by people in our space and that I feel like I can literally learn from. Are you okay? It's so bad, man. Yeah. I mean, it's the first I'm time. Like breathing fire. First time I've been surrounded by people that uh, I can really learn from. I'm just repeating myself now. Yeah. Um, and it's an incredible feeling. What's this video again? Oh yeah, mentor. 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 Yeah. If you're watching this and you're maybe getting started making money online, you might be thinking, okay, well, I must get a mentor then, right? Yeah. Not so fast. Not so fast. Not right off the bat like that. That's not exactly how it works. Yeah. You're not quite ready for it. You could either, I mean, you could spend your way to one, right? Spending mm. two, three, mm. four thousand, five thousand bucks a month. Wait, I thought of something. I'll go. Or you could actually have something to give in return or have an actual relationship, mm -hmm. you know? Because, like, with both our mentors, like, we're, oh, yeah. I mean, we're great friends. Oh, yeah, listen, no. We're, a mentor, you're, you're uh, really good friends with your mentor. Yeah, no, it, it's, not like a, it's not like a listen to me, do what I say sort no, of thing. No, you're friends. Yeah. Th that's a really important thing. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, to know. So if we were to ever do that, which we definitely will at some point, mm -hmm. like I need that like really tight friendship relationship. Oh yeah, that's yeah. the type of person I'm mentor. Oh, so that's someone who just approaches me, complete stranger. Um, I mean, it, we could grow over time, right? Yeah. But you, I can't just meet you and then next day sign you up and yeah. let's get started. So we've never mentored anyone. I totally want to at some point, but it has to be a special person. Mm -hmm. I mean, not like there's only one or two of them, but it has to be someone that you care about and. Yeah, someone that you actually want to work with. Like what we learned, the beer test. Yeah, if you wouldn't, huge. If you wouldn't have a beer with them, then you shouldn't be working with them. Mm -mm. Not in this uh, situation, at least. Because yeah. uh, it's someone that you want to enjoy being around. Yeah. Now, we do do coaching, for example, but that's different. That's just like... Yeah, coaching I don't mentor mention, is, are, are nothing alike. I could literally not know your name. I could still teach you how to build like a big audiobook business in one hour or two hours or three hours. I had another point I was gonna say. Oh yeah, so, I remember. Uh, okay, there you go, go ahead. Yeah. It's just about, like how would you, if you're just starting, how would you apply this? Yeah, like, yeah. So, you can't go out and get a mentor, 
you can go out and get a coach, but this is how I would do it. Mm -hmm. First thing, the, the worst thing you could do is just go out and do your own thing. It's, it's try and learn something yourself, like by reading blog posts, uh -huh. and then buying something somewhere, reselling it. We've all been there, yeah, yeah. but we all fail. Yeah, yeah. So step one is getting a course. That's mm -hmm. what I firmly believe in. The value of courses and the quality of the, of the information in them. Link in description. Uh, it seems like the fucking this whole video, this whole video was so you could say that. <laughs> it was just a setup for that. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. Now I spiked it. Yeah. But not. It's not the case. Was no. not the case. No. So, but what we're saying is just true. It's yeah, just what we believe. So, uh, the first thing is getting a course. The information and the quality of the information in the course is higher than all the random shit you'll find on the internet. Because that shit is laid out for you. That's like a making money blueprint, mm -hmm. a roadmap to your freedom. Mm -hmm. It's basically what it is. If it's a good course. Now, there are definitely shit courses out there. Ours is amazing. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. So, yeah, so. Um, get into audiobooks if that's what you want to do. Uh, and then second step, you're having some success. Maybe you bring your up your business to like, uh, I don't know, throw out numbers, three, five k a month, whatever. Like you have some momentum, then you can get a, a coach to take you to the next level. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's another thing I want to say. Yeah, what? Ah, let me finish this. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it plays together. How a literally people don't realize this that you could have a conversation with a coach or a mentor for just one hour and they can change your life. It's fucking true. A one hour, no, let me change that. A 10 minute talk mm -hmm. with someone, a mentor, like a really high level person can change your life, which is why you need to really value the time of these people. I, I wanna say how that sort of happened for us. Yeah. Something like- Talking about earlier today. Oh uh, no, what happened okay. earlier today? Just conversation with our mentor. Oh, okay, Just okay. over messages. Oh, I'll, I wanna say one- I'll talk about one, okay, okay, okay. okay. I wanna say one final thing. I don't wanna forget. So, okay. these people that, the mentors of the world that have a lot of online business experience have been through it all. They've eaten shit for years. They've been in it for like 10 years and just got a lot of wisdom. They can literally have an impact on you in just like a few Facebook messages. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, literally 20 words they can say that can change your business. Cause they've actually it's, done it, it and it's yeah, real. Right? Yeah, and, so. and what they say is so true. Like 20 words, you can't say much in 20 words, but just over a few Facebook messages, they can change everything for you. Mm -hmm. And I've experienced that. When you talk to these people, it's like they're superhuman. Yeah. The people, they're on a different level from you for a reason. Yeah, ex people for need to reason. understand, like learning from people that have already achieved what you want mm -hmm. is, the fucking title of the video, the number one yeah, it's, best piece of advice, it's, it's advice for success. Real. It's fucking real. So we are chasing people that we want to be like. Now, yeah, so there's like a hierarchy or tier of people. Uh -huh. I mean, I know f we met up with people, people that talk to us can learn so much from us. Everyone tells us like in person how motivating we are, how inspiring we are to them. Uh, and we're just being ourselves. It's just because we've been through more than they have. We've exactly. experienced more things. We've learned more things. We have more wisdom mm -hmm. than a lot of people, mm -hmm. but we're still in the bottom 1%. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like what you're saying is a mentor can teach you like so much and they're not trying. It's just, they're just saying, they're just being them. Yeah. Because that's when, the thing. when you're successful on that level, it's, it's the person that you are. Yeah. Right. So they're just, well they're said. just that's being, well that, they're being that successful person. Yeah. Right. And they're, they're saying just being those themselves. things. Yeah. Um, and being around that, it's infectious. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that was actually a very good point. Mm -hmm. It's not like they're, they're digging into their minds. It's like oh they, shit, it's like I have a plan. It's like, like they had to, here's what I want to tell Yeah. Them. They didn't have to write down the secrets to success in their mind. Mm -hmm. They're just telling you because they know they're how to get it. there. They're exactly. Li they're living that way. Exactly. They're living it. That's exactly it. Um, so that, so it's not even like you have to just hang around this mentor. You automatically learn insane amounts of things. And we experienced that in Cancun. Yeah. You're not even talking business. Look, you just watch them yeah. live uh -huh. and you learn from them. Yeah. Here's something I want to say is crazy. Because actually not on the living point, but actually a piece of tangible information that we learned. Something I had never thought of before, never been taught, never heard. Um, 
So in our businesses, we're always trying to, actually, I'll start, I'll start here. So there are three ways that you can increase the revenue of your business, mm -hmm. and that is to increase the price of your products, yep. that is to sell your products to more people, Yes. Or, traffic, or Tiny. sell, or resell, uh, yes. Your products to the same customers. Yes, I never even thought of that third. Yeah, thing. never. I was always thinking, right. how, how can how can we get uh, more more, more YouTube subscribers to kind of grow our business? That's what it was all about. Just yeah, more exactly. YouTube subscribers, more yeah. more more people to sell. To how them. can we have more products to sell to these people? Right. Mm -hmm. But then there's the third point, which we'd never even thought about, which is how can you resell exactly. to the customers that you already have? Yeah. Something something like those are something like fifty percent of people that have bought from you once will buy again, and eighty percent of people that have bought yep. from you twice will buy a third time. Yeah. And after that, it just gets higher and higher. Yeah. And then so like you've you've already acquired a customer, it's already ten times easier to sell to them again. They're the and this hottest, fucking blew my mind. I'd never thought of that. They're the hottest leads. So instead of going out there trying to sell a new product to new people, sell a product that you know someone you've already sold to multiple times needs. Mm -hmm. And that's actually what we're in the process of. Yeah, exactly. With, ooh, should we, should we say a little bit about it? Fuck it, why not? Fuck it? All right. Uh, just a, I, I yeah, know, I, I, don't, I, don't I know, now I feel, yeah, maybe we shouldn't talk about it. Mm. But it's something that we're going to be selling, and it's yeah. like Dope super next fun. level shit. All because of our mentor. Mm. He told us, like, you guys got to do this, because he knows... He's been around the block. Yeah, he knows that this is the kind of stuff that's gonna grow our business. Exactly. The most. So things that what, we would never have fucking learned on our own, never yeah. even thought of. So we're currently in a position uh, where we just want to level up. Mm -hmm. We're in a level up phase. Like we've been leveling a lot recently. We level up, but then we get there. It, it doesn't fucking could, stop. Th exactly. This could be a whole other tangent. Mm -hmm. How some people they experience success and then they relax and enjoy it. When you start experiencing success, that's when you literally take your foot and you fucking floor the pedal. Like, that's when you go the hardest. Mm -hmm. So, like, things have been going well for us. Uh, we were supposed to take a few weeks downtime. Like, no, that's not happening. I'm, I not, I'm, not, I'm not taking downtime. Yeah. Uh, I need to level up more and it needs to be right now. Yeah. And once I level up, it needs to be more and more and more. And this is the mindset. This is, like, the mindset that separates us from a lot of people. I'm just being honest now. Mm -hmm. Uh, a lot of people don't think that way. There's a lot of tears to this whole thing. Yeah. And once you reach one, don't be happy or don't be sa be always be happy. But happy but never satisfied. Is exactly. Like, that, that's our fucking. Which motto. which which is us. Um, happy but never satisfied. I get to a level. I just like yes. I'm like satisfied for like maybe half a second, and then I need more. And. But that's this is a, this is a great thing. way to be. People think that's like, oh, it's an amazing. Oh, you got, you're you, never happy. Like, no, that's not it. No, I'm, I'm, I'm never, always happy. I'm yeah. always happy. I'm never satisfied with what I already have. Still grateful I, and happy. That's not the yeah, point. Yeah, exactly. You know? Satisfied and happy are very different. But you, you always want more. In the grand scheme of things, we talked about this once. Yeah. Well, how like, if you if you put your uh, your lifelong goals or plans into a 10 step process, I'd say we're currently step two out of 10. Mm -hmm. Step two out of 10. Mm -hmm. We've gone from step one. I believe the first step would be the hardest, but. Yeah, definitely. Step one was beginning and uh, growing passive income and being able to support yourself. That was step one. Yeah. Step, we're currently in step two. And then there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Mm -hmm. I mean, to give you an idea, that's how big our mindsets are. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is on the topic of a mentor, but something else that we learned, just something that he taught us or told us to do that I had never thought of before. And that is to kind of um, like imagine your dream life in your head, right? What does that look Should like? Should we do it right now? What does that look like? Should we do it right now? Okay, let's do it right now. You as well watching this video. I mean, I have this written down, so. Imagine my dream life. Ooh, that's good. Okay. So what we learned is to like, you gotta reverse engineer this shit, mm, yeah. right? Look at where you want to be, and then think of it as how can you get there, right? And mm -hmm. I know that's really fucking vague. It's very vague, um, but it's, it's just a good way to think. That could be a video right? in itself. And that, that we actually have that written down as a video idea. Yeah. Reverse engineering your goals. Yeah. If you want to fucking be a billionaire, right? Is that gonna happen for you publishing books? No. It's like, not. You, are you just gonna keep on publishing books? You think you're gonna get there? No. No. You kind of have to realize, so what do I have to do in order to really make a billion dollars? Mm. 
A bi- uh, like being a billionaire is not our goal at all. No. I mean, uh, getting there, I guess, would be cool. But I've, I've no ambitions to become a billionaire. That's no, no, because, not, not at all. Not at because all. you literally have to focus on money for eighty years of your life. Like I don't want to do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I. I want to say that the kind of life that I want to live. Yeah. Right? And, and it, it's who we yeah. really look up to. And it's the way he lives his life. Mm-hmm. And that is, that's Michael Steele. Right? So he's, he's like a number one idol. If you don't know who he is, mm-hmm. our online business idol. That, yeah, that we really try to model our online business after. I mean, we're talking about mentors here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Being mentored. We're one, one together here. Yeah. What we're thinking. Yeah. Um, if we can get mentored by... The ultimate yeah who has the life that I want yeah right so so should we talk I mean, a bit about, really, about really his life he, he is that. a I don't want to put numbers on I don't want to say how much money it makes no plenty, idea how much he makes. plenty of money so um, and he's just built his business uh, he's outsourced he has VAs that do a lot of the work I think most most of the work of what he does is is filming videos yeah. he right? lives the real life four hour work week yeah the like real life real. four hour work week he travels and he does what the fuck he wants and then he can really focus on himself right, right. you don't have to focus on money mm-hmm. and work you so can the, focus on yeah. growing as a person his health just becoming like the most badass motherfucker in the world yeah so the first step was uh, achieving your financial freedom mm-hmm. your time freedom so he's achieved that already and now he just focuses on Shit that is not money, business, finance related at all. Everything else, because there's so much more to life than money. Money is just uh, the key that unlocks everything else. Like I've learned, money is money big. is not money is not no no like, money is big in accessing all these new things that you want. But money is not the goal. No, not money at is all. Not the goal. Not at all. Money is what gives you access to the things that you really want. Exactly. It's just a gateway. Yeah. It's ga- a gateway to the things. And and once you And I don't mean things like a fucking Lamborghini no, mansion. No. I it's it's all these mean, relationships. I mean, I mean, relationships, relationships, time, experiences, health, health, experiences, uh mindset related things, happiness, mm-hmm. all these other things. Money helps you is a vehicle to achieve all these things. Oh, this is something something uh, our mentor said that he heard from Dan Locke, which is uh, like, people chase money just mm. to get validation from other people. Yeah, that's really that that's why people want money. Yeah. And I'm like, and I think about like, fuck yeah, that sounds like me. Yeah, yeah, that that seems totally. Know that I'm a boss. Yeah, but there's so much more to it. Yeah. What I was saying about Michael Steele, yeah, he's he's done with the money. Of course, he's obviously still working on his business and trying to grow. But money's no longer important because he achieved it. Like I have the money I need to do all these other things that I want. So now he's focused and on enough to provide for his family. Yeah, and exactly. Like, so now he's focused on things like uh, t- being like a superhuman. So that's yeah. taking care of your body, like physically, mm-hmm. like gym, that whole David Wim Hof method, like shit that nobody else does that no one really has time to do. Yeah. Uh, because they don't have the money. The everything because they have to focus on working because yeah. time is money and if you don't have the time to do these things yeah I keep staring at us for some reason there's a guy watching me <laughs> um, anyway, I couldn't <laughs> so so he has the time to focus on his physical health and all so that I'm excited to get into that once once money is there mm-hmm. that's something we're still working on we're still in that phase oh uh, yeah we're just Mike Steele one to two years before uh huh I truly fucking believe that shit yeah no because it's real yeah yeah. I know that, so, and then also focused on lots of relationship related things. Mm-hmm. Now that's a big one. Mm-hmm. We talk about and that. So we don't have time to do at all. Yeah, not at right. all. I mean, yeah. in business. But that is where business, that is where like best. the most happiness you, you in your life comes from. Yeah, from really. other people. Yeah, and that's mm-hmm. something that we can't even focus on. Mm-hmm. So right, once you get the the time freedom and uh, financial freedom, you can focus on shit like that. Yeah. Uh, so what other type of shit did you focus on? Yeah, experiences, mm-hmm. taking care of other people, mm-hmm. mindset related things, yeah. should we get happiness. Back? Should we go back to the topic of the video? Oh yeah. Which is oh yeah, this cool. video was actually yeah. about something. Yeah. Well, I just want to say, I mean, this is good that we're just fucking rolling with it. Yeah. Um, but what I want to say is... Are we just going to upload this and just see what people think of it? I mean, I'm going to edit it. Oh yeah, yeah, edit it, sure. Yeah. I, I just want to end on one final thing, and that is like... Uh, for whatever position you're in watching this video, what should you do? Like, what should you really take from this video? You know what, actually, comment down below and tell us your situation. Yeah. And I'd like to like give my feedback. Oh, I'd like to give everyone like a personalized 
yes, sort of like here's here's you why you should really take the information in this video. Or, yeah, yeah. I actually, I would actually love to do that. Yeah. If you watch to the end, I'm blown away that you would do that. First mm -hmm. of all, because we've literally just been rambling, but that's like. The people that I look up to, I enjoy just sitting and watching them talk yeah, forever. Exactly. For yep. example, Mikey Steele. He, that's actually what inspired this video. It's so crazy. Mike, if you're watching this, no, you don't oh, watch it. It's so much. crazy, I feel like, right now. But uh, no, that inspired this video. He recently had a video where he was like, all right, I'm just going to wing it because these other guys told me I need to start winging my videos. So and we watched he, that. And what it was, it was a 20-minute video of him just, the video was about like why, why it's not your fault that you're broke. So that was the core of the video, but he, he only talked about that for a little bit. Most of it was just going on tangents, talking about random shit. I loved every second of it. I loved every you know? second of it. And because he is like, he has so much wisdom and so much experience. Whatever he so says, whatever he says, I'm like, yeah, yeah. writing that one down. Exactly. Just all so, of it. it, it you know? He was just going on random tangents for 20 minutes and I enjoyed watching it. Mm -hmm. So maybe other people experience the same thing. Uh, I, I truly want to wonder, or I truly want to know, do you guys think, do you guys actually enjoy listening to us just talk about shit like this? Yeah. Or do you want us to like kind of get to a fucking point and have it planned out? Yeah. Yeah, if you watched, this is the end of the video. If you watched the end here, comment down below. Tell us like your situation in life, your situation in your online business, what you want to achieve. Basically that. And then I told you want to like take the time to read it and just try and get in your shoes mm -hmm. and uh, think about what I would do to level up. Because it's yeah. all about leveling up. Uh, that's, that's another thing people don't do. Mm -hmm. You realize to get to the top, you have to you level have, up. Some you people, have to be different. You have yeah. to do different things than what everyone else is doing. Some people right. are like working in a business for a long time and they stay in the same level for five years because they never took that move that levels up. Yeah. You, you need to do you, something different. Yeah. Everyone's you, working here. You need here. to do a new thing. You need to make a change. Yeah, exactly. You, you have to do something different. Uh, so that's what it's all about. I want to see if I can find the level up move for you. Mm -hmm. Whether that's getting a course, which is a huge level up move if you're at the way beginning. Mm -hmm. Like that's a big step. Uh, getting a coach, getting a mentor, investing in this, investing in that, whatever. Shall we end it with the emoji of the day? Mm -hmm. yeah. Glass of whiskey emoji. So every time people drop emojis, I'm like, cool, you, cool, you watched the end. But if you actually watch to the end of this one, then I'll actually be impressed. Yeah. This will be the first time I'll be like... Yeah, th this one... Uh, genuinely very impressed. Yeah, this is like the longest video we've done. Mm -hmm. I'm just rambling about. Yep, and it's just talking. But right. there's definitely shit to learn. Oh, uh, there's because so much shit to learn. I could die happy today, even though I haven't achieved everything I wanted to. I would, I, I'll tell you, I would die very unsatisfied. That's not, that's not the point. But, I'm, but that's the happy whenever satisfied. Yeah. I'm not satisfied because I have so much shit I want to do. No, but I'm, I'm like so happy and grateful for where I am in life. And mm -hmm. like that on its own is oh, something no. everyone chases and almost no one has achieved, right? Mm -hmm. So just, just on that level, um, we take so much shit for granted, like not having a job. Yeah. That's just normal to us. I know. It's crazy. Being able to, we're in Playa del Carmen, Mexico right now because we want to. And we live in this ball ass apartment because we can. Take shit for granted. Fuck. Mm. Oh, let's end this video. Yeah. So, if you if you finish or if you watch to the end, drop the whiskey emoji, and let's just wrap it up. We'll see you in the next video. Let us know what kind of videos you want. Did you like this? Did you not like it? That's it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.